In the previous video, I showed you how to create a freeze frame using the traditional method. Now I'm going to show you a better way to create freeze frames and it has an exciting name called Hold Segment. Go to the timeline and select the video clip you want to freeze. Move the playhead to that particular frame. Go to the toolbar, click on the Retime button. From the pop-up menu, choose Hold. A freeze frame, or rather, the hold segment is added to the clip at the position of the playhead. Let's play back and see how it looks like. So that's how you create a freeze frame using hold segment. Wait! Here are a few things you need to know. By default, the duration of the hold segment is 2 seconds. You can increase the duration by dragging the segment's retiming handle to the right. Drag the handle to the left to decrease the duration of the freeze frame. You can determine the duration yourself by using the range selection. Select a range within the clip in the timeline. In this example, I start the range at the point I want to freeze and drag it to 5 seconds long, which is the duration I want the freeze frame to be. Then go to the toolbar, click on the retime button, choose hold, and a whole segment is created for the duration of the range. Keyboard shortcuts. First, select the clip on the timeline, press Command r to show the Retime Editor, position the playhead over the frame you want to freeze, press Shift-H to create the hold segment. Let me create another hold segment, press Shift-H. Let's do one more, press Shift-H. Beware, adding a hold segment to a clip increases its duration, so take note of this in case you're wondering why your overall video is now longer than before. What if you want to remove the whole segment? Use the range selection, select the whole segment area, go to the toolbar, retime, choose normal 100%. Or if you want to bring the entire clip back to normal, select the whole clip and then choose normal 100%. If you want to hide that green bar on top, which is the Retime Editor, go to the Retime button, pop-up menu, and choose Hide Retime Editor. And now for the final tip. Notice the green bars beside the red hole segment. This is for you to create fast-forward effects and slow-motion effects. To see how I do it, watch the next video on how to create fast-forward and slow-motion.